Hi Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport, an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Today I wanted to show you the card we're going to be making and it's from this Love What You Do stamp set. I cannot get enough of this stamp set. My mind just keeps racing with so many different things to do. But today, this is the card we're going to make. And it's a simple card, a little bit of DSP pa designer series paper and empty in the inside. So let's get started. First of all, here's my measurements. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna fold it in half. And get my bone folder, which I forgot to get out. And give it a nice crease. It just helps your card lay so much better. And it also keeps it standing up better than if you just kind of fold it in half. So, I'm sorry I forgot to get my tape. We're going to take this white sheet of paper and it's four by five and a quarter. We'll adhere that to the inside. So we'll do that now. And the outside measurements are not too terribly difficult. This is going to be one inch by five inches. And what I did is I just put it down a little bit from the top and let that border, because I'm gonna kind of switch these around a little bit as to how I do them. So I'm taking this and now I'm gonna leave me just a, the smallest border. And the writing, even if you can't read it, does have a direction. So you kinda wanna make sure that you get your writing going the, the right direction. Then I took a piece of Calypso Coral paper and I ran, ran it through our wood plank uh, embossing folder and I cut it down to two by, I forgot the measurement, I'm sorry, by four and three quarters. And I'm gonna adhere that down toward the bottom and overlapping the designer series paper just a little bit. The designer series paper we're using is in the Share What You Love suite and I mean to tell y'all, it, it's awesome. You can't get enough of it. I just, I can't say enough good about it. I absolutely love it. I love the paper. I love the fact that you get some freebies. Um, the bigger kit that you buy, the more freebies that you get. And, you know, it's a, as far as I'm concerned, it's a win-win. Then I took this piece, which this is the other side, incidentally, and it measures at one and a half by four and a quarter. And it's gonna be the same width all the way over. And what I did on the end is I just made a little banner and I cut it. Whoop. <laughs> and I cut it again, don't need those. And then I just adhered it. to go across the top at about right there. And I took the um, It's a Beautiful Day and the Little Florets, and I did a beautiful day in black tuxedo, um, black memento ink, and I did this in the Calypso Coral, and I just made a little border. And usually I will bring it up on dimensionals or something, but I decided not to do that this time. And this is a two-inch circle punch. And I just kind of tried to put it somewhere near the middle. And then I went ahead and I put, I made a little tiny bow with our linen thread. And I'm going to put it on with a glue dot. And I just kind of roll it with my fingernail when it's bigger than I, I want it to be, and especially when it's just this tiny little twine bow, you don't want to do too much. And then I kind of decided, well, which way I want my strings to go, I guess. <laughs> and I just, I just put it on there, and I just, it just turned out cute in my opinion. Um, 
you can do whatever you want to do with it, but this is just what I kind of came up with. So I hope you like it. It's easy, it's quick, it's simple, and it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, please push like or, or check like. And if you'd like to subscribe, there's a button below you can subscribe. If you don't have a dem demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. And if you do, then that's great. Enjoy it and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.